Welcome to Montessori Minute. Today's activity is a practical life activity. That means something that is useful as a skill whether you're 5 or 2 or 25. I'm going to suggest today that you bake with your child and I think the easiest thing to start with is muffins. If you don't have a muffin tin, well then bake this into a loaf pan or into a 11 by 7 baker because muffins turn out like coffee cake if you bake them that way. So, but start with a muffin. The wonderful thing about baking is that it's not just a skill that helps us to sustain ourselves because we know how to cook. It's also an incredible opportunity to learn math. Lots of opportunity for new language and that makes it an all-purpose activity, wouldn't you say? I'll be posting a link for you to use that's a really simple recipe with things you should have on hand in your house but the important thing is that this is about you supervising your child really doing the work you're going to need to provide them with a mixing bowl in fact i suggest two one for wet ingredients one for dry ingredients because then you can mix them up separately and combine them at the end you're going to need the basic ingredients flour sugar salt baking soda some recipes baking powder um, and then whatever you care to mix in could be chocolate chips could be frozen blueberries could be just plain with a little cinnamon sugar on top doesn't matter the recipe will allow you to do any of the above whatever you have on hand have your and you're gonna need eggs I forgot that and milk and oil oh the wet ingredients that's right anyway you you're gonna get those ingredients out based on the recipe on the link and have your child do the work talk them through oh well we need a cup of flour or we need two cups of flour wow that's one whole cup yeah but we only need a half a cup a half a cup of sugar go through all of those measurements using the exact words of what you're doing make the muffins get them in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes whatever the recipe calls for and while they are baking you have the opportunity to take those measuring tools and figure out equivalencies. Let's put some water in this one cup whole and put it in a bowl. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Now, can you fill the half a cup from that? You can. What if we do it the other way? What if we put a half a cup into the bowl? Can you get a whole cup out of it? Hmm, you can't. Use those teaspoons, use those tablespoons. Let your young child, if you have a sink that's accessible or a big plastic tub, anything that will allow them to do it, do it in the bathtub for goodness sakes. Let them measure and pour and get used to those equivalencies. And then when your muffins are done, you have something awesome to enjoy. Happy baking. See you soon. Thanks for joining me today.